Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 21 of this uh, save with little club Gotney IF. Uh, we started out in the lower reaches of Swedish football, as low as you can go in the game. And we have got them two promotions up to the uh, league just below the top league, the second tier of Swedish football, the Elite League. I think it's actually got a different name, but I haven't got the name fixes in. And... Yeah, we've had a couple of seasons here and it's been tough. We've, we've worked, had to work really, really hard to to stay in this league. But at the end of last season, the tide started to turn. So we have now are going to come to, this is our third season. Uh, we've made some transfers. We've lost some players. We've, we've bought in some players as well and we've still got work to do uh, with the transfer. So let's um, let's have a look at what business we have done. Out has gone um, Jonathan Tamimi, so three, four fairly first teamy players. Jonathan Tamimi, who was the right back from uh, Jordan, did a job for a while, a um, couple of seasons with us. You know, he was he was okay. Certainly, the first season he was a lot better than the second season. Theodore Johansson, he's been with us for a long, long time. Um, bit sad about this one. I maybe could have kept him. He, he did a job, but the last couple of years he's just been filling in. Um, so it, it made sense to make some space. Oliver Nielsen, he never quite worked. I, I always thought he was going to be a lot better than he was. I, I guess he hasn't got a lot of the, the crossing and dribbling stats. We were trying to play him at right back. He didn't work in the centre of midfield. It just didn't work. Um, don't quite get it, but you know that sometimes happens. Um, and Turkan was the other guy who's gone. He just did not fit. It was a sort of right-sided midfielder. Just didn't fit. So that's those are the uh, players who've gone on free transfer, but that's not all. That's still not all. Yeah, we've lost a couple of the guys we wanted to keep hold of. And as I was moaning about last time, for very little money, uh, we've unfortunately with these guys, they as soon as these clubs came in for them, they wanted to leave. And if they wanted to leave, then they were going to kick up a stink if I didn't let them go. And that's going to screw up our dynamics. So I had to, I had to kind of bow down to their wishes. So we've lost Tanska, who is an excellent right-sided midfielder. Look at the physicals at this level. Very, very good. Um, he, he had the sort of technical stats in the right places. Uh, and, and uh, you know he didn't quite work as well as I'd have liked, and which is why I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yeah, he he is left. We could loan him back apparently. Um, and vile slow bum, which I'm really annoyed about because we found him, we brought him in, and uh, I have tried to loan him back. He has no interest in coming back, which is gutting. They were happy for him to come back. He had no interest. So uh, yeah, cheers, mate. So we've lost our goalkeeper, we've lost our right midfielder, both of whom were top, top players. But we have bought some quality in. Uh, these are the guys who have come in thus far. We are still looking. Uh, the squad is quite thin at the minute. Alexander Alp, he's been on my radar for quite some time. Forward uh, to provide a little bit of cover for the players we've got up there. There's a chance that Sigurd Palsen might be leaving. He's... Uh, He's unhappy. He's he, he's kind of he wants to move on to a bigger club. He's annoyed that we didn't sign any new staff members, uh, which I did, but he, apparently that person didn't count. So just generally not so happy. So we've got this guy in who I think could do a job. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Good good signing there. So we also uh, one of the best parts of this the um, the. Um, one of the best things that's going on at the minute is that probably our best player, whose name escapes me, Phil Jannon, there he is. He is wanted. He's a, he's a four and a half star player. He's absolutely outstanding. Um, really, really good in that, that role. Uh, receding hairline at 20. I mean, it's just unfortunate. But he's had all sorts of people coming in for him. He says, no, no, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm here. We got me. So that's great. But what we don't have is a backup for him uh, because we've lost Jasper Parnovic last season. So this is what this guy is going to do. He's going to provide a backup, Sven Len, and he'll do it okay. I mean, he's, he's mainly a centre-back, but, you know, he can play in that position. So he's a four-star uh, quality centre-back, 
I think he's okay. I was quite happy with, with bringing him in. Gone Icelandic, and this guy can play on both sides. He's equally happy as an inverted winger on both sides. So he's going to, he's, he's certainly um, three star ability. He's got the crossing ability. He's fast, or fairly fast. Uh, he can pass. It's, he looks a pretty good player for this level. Decent flair. Uh, decent sort of off the ball skills as well so and look at the composure and decisions I, I think he's really good I think he actually he's possibly a bit better than the three stars that we've, we've got here I'm not quite seeing what's what's holding him back there maybe the dribbling a little bit and I mean the long shots who bloody cares and stamina okay yeah, and hadn't noticed that stamina is maybe that's something we need to work on and the vision yeah okay there's a few things that aren't quite there but he is I think really good. Let me know what you think of him. And uh, finally, we got Kevin Eagle Johnson, uh, who is another three star player, but we lost to Mimi on the right side. We needed to have someone to fill in that position. And so we got him from Hamcam. He's a Norwegian man. Um, he's okay. I think he's, I think he's, he's good he's he's not he's not outstanding but he's certainly better than Tamimi was so I think we've improved it a little bit you'll notice we haven't got a goalkeeper in yet we're still trying to work on that uh you see AIK are offering stuff for Viljanen we, we um we said no he wasn't annoyed so that's good team cohesion's not looking terrible um we, we're trying to work on that so we're you know hopefully we'll be able to get that into the green but everything else is looking pretty good the pre-season uh went well the three games we've had went well we've beaten narpa's craft 7-1 always good and we're coming back here for the um game against hammerby which is the one of the biggest games and that we've we've played uh, as as a club the other game we played was against malmo Hammerby are a top division club. The other thing I noticed, which is really interesting, is um, Orobro. They've got relegated, so uh, we'll be playing my other club from the other save uh, in this season. We'll definitely come back for one of those games. But as I say, today we're going to be playing Hammerby. We're going to be looking for a goalkeeper very soon. What, what I likely am going to do is play the game against Hammerby and then just go through to the start of the season um, and hopefully have a goalkeeper by then. Okay, I'm going to pick the team and then we will go and play the game. Uh, okay, so this is the team we're going with. Um, what I've also forgot to say is we've managed to extend, I don't think I've said this before, we managed to extend Simpson's loan for another season, which is absolutely massive. I think he's a huge part of why we uh, started playing well again. Uh, so that's brilliant. We're having to go with Handel on the bench. We do have this lad who is on, on uh, trial, who is a little bit better than what we've got. I'm still looking for something better than this because I think there must be better out there. I'm just not I'm not convinced with it at the minute. He was at Nor Coping, so he did play. I noticed that he did play in the top league for a bit. We'll have a think. We'll have a think. Right. Anyway, we're going to submit this team, um, and I will go through it when the the screen comes up. So Svenlan, I'll give him a fourteen. Give you a number two, even though you're not a number two. Alexander Alp. There we go. Okay, team we are going with. We are going uh, for his debut. Uh, Alp up top with Sugar Palsam. See how that goes. Jarrett, uh, Kevin Jarrett, he's going to be our starter on the right side. Bad keys on the left. Simpson in the middle. So similar to what we had last season with the exception of we've got Jarrett in there from the start. I'd be happy with that because he was a bit annoyed he wasn't getting many games. He's got a chance to get some games. Bill Janet, of course, in that position just above the, uh, the front two. And then we're going to play Urkan alongside Svenlin in the mid in, in the middle and um, Safstrom and Schoberg left and right with Van Leest back in goal, um, at least for now. Right then, okay. Pressure's off. I think that is exactly what we want to say to them. We aren't expected to do anything here. But we're at Hammerby. This could be really big financially for us. Going to demand more straight off the bat. Oh, we're playing in black. And we'll see how we do. Um, this could easily be an absolute smashing, but we we could 
I don't think we'll spring a surprise, but I think there's potential for us to cause some trouble. Viljanen, though, first highlight. Oh, dear. I thought I thought that was going. Is that Ben Amos in their goal? Oh, that's, that'd be unfair. Long kick out. Oh, nicely done there, but straight to one of those, one of their lot. Bajanic. Sure. 17 minutes gone on the clock. Bajanic has it. Playing around nicely, a good overlap there. Of course, it was going to go to him. Nielsen in goes the ball and over it goes. Was that it? Was a goal kick? He missed it, must have hit the par. The bar, the par. So show some passion. We've had a shot, so that's good. Viljanen's got a telling off. We've got some good players on the bench. I'll be interested to see how we do against the likes of Lulea, who are also in our group. Um, I mean, it looks like Hammerby have got a fairly easy time of it, really. Uh, they've they're playing us, Lulea, and I think another another uh, uh, club that's below us. So that's I mean that that can only be easy for them. We are not. We are not. Oh look at that! I, I, oh, it's Nor coping. They're playing. That's a weird group. Why are they two? Why are those two in the same group? Sure, you're seeded. Is it seeded? Swedish fans, let me know. Is it seeded? The uh, the Swedish Cup. The, the groups pressured by the feedback we've not really seen much from the strikers but we're nil nil at half time this is pretty good not seen a chance a lot more to come from you yeah 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 it's funny both both my uh, Urubro, uh the journeyman save and this one uh, we're just starting the season this week which is a bit weird Right, we're going to get creative. Uh, clearly, we're not doing much here. Certainly not going forward anyway. Maybe we should try and do something. Because it's... Well, that's well out. Sure. Bajanic out wide. It's Nielsen into Janssen. And we've managed to clear it. So Alp, he's got through. This is his first opportunity with us. Oh, he took his time over it. I mean, he got it on target. I mean, that was the best chance of the game, and it's fallen to us. Not bad. A lot of us sitting in that box. Bill Jallen. No. And they've cleared it. It's not bad. Not bad. <sighs> Safstrom into Bill Jallen. I was hoping we might play it over the top a little more effectively there. We've got the likes of Hassan Begovic and my Traore. It's a really good front line at the minute. I think all of them I'm very, very happy with. Uh, Hassan Begovic isn't what he was. My worry is that we're going to be, find it very, very difficult to keep all four of them happy. But if we have to sell one, we have to sell one. But another chance here. Viljanen, corner in. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was beautifully done. Oh dear. Oh dear, that is so unlucky. What a save that was. Oh, we smashed him there. Schoberg. Right, okay. We're going to make a change. We'll bring the eagle on. The eagle has landed at right back. Come on, eagle. Kevin the eagle. And there's two wonderful chances there for us. Oh, and it's the keeper just, what was he doing there? He took one step to the left where he should have just stood there. Oh, it's a shame. We've had a couple of wonderful chances and just been done by a sucker punch here. But the Eagle's got it. Where are you going to take that, my friend? Nowhere. The Eagle, he powers it forward. That is to nobody. Oh, look, Sigurd Palson, come on, mate it's one all it's one all you, he doesn't miss that Harry doesn't miss that oh yeah well well it's all very interesting and surprising that we are competing with this dip plan there they go Krebs cycle or or a Borg they're gonna have a shot aren't they it's gonna go in ahead for or not ahead but we were there five five seconds and then we oh it looks bad ball in <laughs> just 
<laughs> what are you doing, mate? Slide tackle after out. He's going to have a shot. Oh, well saved. Well saved, Van Leest. He's done really good there. And we've got... I mean, we, we, we are playing very much on the break, but, I mean, I guess we've got to. We've had three excellent chances. And I'm thinking we're going to bring off... Uh, bring on my Traore. See how he does. I'm really happy with what we've got on the bench. Um, oh, another chance here. Viljanen. Oh, did he? Did the keeper lose that? And if he did, how did we not score? Right at the end here. I'm going to bring off Bad Key and I'm going to bring on the new lad, Inga, Inga Marsen, for his debut as well. Inga Munds. Ing, Ing, Ingi Mundus. Oh, that's a hard one. Ingi Mundusen. Full time. Well, that, I mean, yeah, it's a league a league thing, isn't it? So a 1-1 draw away at Hammerby is a bloody fantastic result. I'm disappointed. No, I'm very, very happy with that. That's utterly fantastic. Wow. So let's have a little look at the at our group. Because we never got this far before. This is this is completely certainly while we've been doing it, we've never got this far. So Lulea got a surprising win over Eskil's Tuna. Lulea, I think, are oh, they got relegated Yeah, last season. They did terribly. So if we could beat Lulea, it's gonna be depend what hammer we get up to. But we've got a chance, haven't we? We've got a chance. We managed to do something. I never expected us to do that. So we'll probably play the Lulea game behind closed doors. And if it looks interesting, we'll come back for that Eskils Tuna game. Because if we can get through, that would be utterly amazing. The other thing I wanted just to check, because let's have a look what the 16,719 people... We just took four fans with us. And that was me and my mum and... Uh, you know, Auntie Peggy and, uh, you know, Jackie Sue from down the road. It's ugh, crazy, that. Game of that size, and this is the sort of cries we're getting. But utterly fantastic. So that should have done some good for the finances, I'd have thought. Yeah, so we were 34,000 in debt, and that's jumped up to, a, so a, over 100,000 we got there. That's really good. Well, hey guys, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these two together into one episode. I think it makes more sense. So we've we've moved on a little bit and we are um, at the Swedish Cup third round, third third game. So we have played the, the previous game. We beat Lulea 2-0. Pretty happy with that. Two goals. Uh, they almost scored the most ridiculous goal you're ever likely to see. Um, and Viljanen's goal... I think we have to just see this because it's 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 a sort of goal you don't see very often in in a FM, but it definitely happens in real life. Look at the average ratings there, brilliant stuff. Yeah, I mean Bill Jannon, he was taking a free kick, fairly central, and then this happened. So here you go, fairly central, ball in, and no one got it. The goalkeeper just let it past him really but you see that often or, or normally from a bit more of an angle than that so it's nice to see on, on fm now the reason i'm going to come back for this as part of a sort of cup special episode is this is what the group looks like now so hammerby they did win their two games they beat eskils tuna away 2-0 and then they beat uh, lulea at home 2-0 so if we can beat eskils tuna who are in? Oh no, they're in the same. Who are, they're in the same division as us? They've done okay. Well, then, then it all becomes very, very interesting. I think it's going to be a challenge to beat them actually, but we're going to try. I, th I thought they were the division below. Yeah. So we get. I think it's possible, but we'll see what happens. So, team that we're going with is this, Van Leest in goal, uh, Safstrom, Svenlan, Erkan, and uh, 
the Eagle. Viljan and just in front of them. Uh, midfield of Simpson in the middle. Ingemardsen on the left and Jarrett on the right. Sigurpalsen and Alp up top. You'll notice we have a new goalkeeper. He will be the first choice goalkeeper, but I'm giving Van Lees the opportunity to get us into the um, the main draw. Van Lees has done very well, actually. So Bernat will just have to be number 24. But he's on loan. We're paying £500 a month for him. Ooh, what's this? Looks like we've got some snow. Oh, yeah, the, the the board aren't particularly happy with the deal. I think it's an okay deal. That is so much better. The snow is there than it was when the game first came out. <laughs> that that was just... Oh, it reminded me of... Um, I can't remember which of the sort of Desert Strike, Jungle Strike games. The one which had the snow. It looked exactly like that. Right then. Let's, let's go positive and we'll see if we can take this. It would be utterly brilliant if we could. I think 2-0 is going to be hard, but not impossible. And if we do get 2-0, what happens then? If we get if we win this 2-0, we'll have exactly the same goal difference. I mean, it looks like nothing's happening at the minute. First, uh, first chance, we're playing with a yellow ball. Phil Jannon. Ball in. Out to the eagle. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, I thought it was in. Right, another opportunity. The Eagles got it. Uh, Sigurd Palsen. Oh dear me! Trying our hardest to get in. That's a. T I thought that was a terrible ball back, but no, we've got got hold of it. Safstrom does the sensible thing, keeps it on the floor. Ingemardsen. Safstrom looks like he's trying to overlap, but just can't catch him up. Ingemardsen. Oh, it's over the top. Come on, we can score, can't we? Come on, guys. I got to half time somehow. Did I miss all? The <laughs> <laughs> right it's a lot more to come from you um, six shots to two it's not brilliant but demand more we've had we've had some chances but they've cocked up their Jarrett oh, straight into the goalkeeper's hands come on guys this is not brilliant. I just want to. I want a chance. I don't want them to bloody win this. That'd be really annoying. What's what happened there? Right. Who's 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 coming to him? He's he's played the long ball. Lovely ball actually. Alp. Simpson overran that a little bit. A beautiful ball and Sega Palson. He doesn't miss those, but he did then. That was the chance, wasn't it? Oh, how cool would it have been to get through this? It would have been utterly brilliant. Playing brilliantly in that central midfield position. Let's see who we've got to bring on. I think we've got Traore on the bench. I'm going to bring my Traore on um, for uh, Sigurd Palsen. See what that does. It's a shame. We've had the chances. Right. We're going to go a little bit more attacking now. Uh, bad key. We know he's capable. We're going to confirm that sub. And then we're going to go attacking. <coughs> Come on. 85 minutes. The Eagle. Oh, what's going on here? No, come on. Got the ball. Simpson beats his man. And again. It's a bit jumpy, sorry about that. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Ericsson. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well... If nothing else, if we get through this unbeaten, that would be very, very nice. But come on, guys. We're sort of almost invisible in this snow, which is, is helpful. 
Right. Yeah, I'm just... Just a touch disappointed with, with what we've achieved. Oh, just wide. Wow. Well, they've come back. I didn't realise they'd gone very attacking. I think that's possibly the problem. I thought I'd hit attacking. Right, well, that's it. A nil-nil draw with Eskils Tuna. It's not a terrible game. We had probably enough chances to win it, but we didn't manage to. In the end, we don't go through. Um, defensively, we were okay. <sighs> Disappointed in the finishing. Yeah, I was. I felt there was. I felt felt we could have done better there. So let's have a look at the group and how it finished. Knocked out of the cup, but my God, did we not give it a good go? Um, in the end, we lost uh, lost to Hammerby, um, but didn't actually lose a game. Three goals for, one against, and uh, finished second. Which I would be. I was happy. You know, we're playing. I mean, Eskils Tuna only got a point, which is interesting. They struggled a little bit. I don't know why we weren't able to beat them. But uh, and so it was a very good win for Lulea against them. That's what we should have done. They scored two early goals. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to come back for the first game of the season, which is against um, Brompojana. Uh, easy for you to say. And yeah, I... I <sighs> I don't know, am I excited for the season? Of course I'm excited for the season, but do we think we can actually do something this season? Can we push on a little bit? I hope so. I really, really hope so. Join me then. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.